My name is Aaron Cairo. I'm a sponsored skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area. And today, I'm gonna teach you how to set up a complete skateboard. Chloe, who runs our shop, has been asking me to make this video for a very long time. She doesn't know how to set up a board herself, and she thought it would be very helpful for you guys to get a video on how to set up a complete skateboard. And she keeps saying, you guys don't have this video. Why aren't you making this video? So I decided the best way to make this video would be to teach her how to set up a skateboard. So what do we got here, Chloe? Grip tape and two decks and then a bunch of other stuff. Okay, so you got all of this stuff for your two nieces and we're gonna yeah. set these boards up. But they don't know for Christmas, whatever. Hey. Hopefully they don't watch the video. Merry Christmas. <laughs> the first thing that you're gonna do in setting this up is you're gonna get the grip tape on there. This grip tape and grip, notice that it has this thing right here. So what do you think is the situation with that? I think that you pop that out so it looks cool. Well done, pop it out so it looks cool. Do we wanna tell them everything that they need for a complete? Yeah, okay, so you need a board. A lot of people think this would be the most important thing because it is the deck, it is the graphic that you like, and it is likely the thing that you're gonna be like in love with the most, generally speaking. So choose the board that you like the most, then choose the grip tape that goes on top. You can put it down like that. So that is the board. Um, we can refer to that as the deck. The next thing you need are these things. They are metal and they are called trucks. These are what attach the wheels, which you will also need onto the board. And in order to make these wheels roll, you need these little red things here called bearings. So we will eventually end up putting these bearings into those wheels, and then we will attach the trucks to the skateboard with these little screws called hardware. So that is all the pieces you need to make a complete skateboard. Hardware, trucks, bearings, wheels, board, grip tape. And then a tool and a razor blade. A tool and a razor blade is the, are the tools that you need to set the board up, yes. We do sell complete so you can like just choose everything and get your complete set up for you. Or you can buy packages where that just comes with all the stuff and you can set it up yourself. Personally, I only set up my own boards. It seems weird to me to have somebody else set up my board. It seems like setting up the board is sort of part of the board's life. But if you've never set up a board yourself hey whatever you want to do right we're gonna go detailed in this video right here so the first thing we're gonna do Chloe is you're gonna take this plastic off of okay. the board Gabe's white pants is not a good choice today white pants is probably the best <laughs> worst thing you could have done good you got it yeah now next thing you're gonna put your grip tape down and you're going to kind of feel around the edges and see that that's where the grip tape needs to go you're gonna take this part off of the grip tape it's essentially a giant sticker but I want you to get the idea of where you're gonna place it so you don't place it like that and then you're like, oh, uh, half the tail has no grip tape. Another good point is that you wanna make sure that the graphic grip tape is on the tail. You know, that's kind of a preference thing. I guess some people would put it up there or whatever, but that's fine. So you know what's the tail because, well, this one's rather simple. Oh, Aaron Cairo's up there, the Phoenix is this way. That's obviously the nose. Yeah, and that's the tail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not every board is like that. Some uh -huh. graphics go like this. Um, so generally speaking, the nose is the bigger, wider side. But on these ones, the sticker is also always on the tail. We have the <laughs> sticker that's on the tail. So we know, okay, we're just gonna put this grip tape right over that. So go ahead and peel the grip tape off like so. Okay. Sometimes there's a little bit of a, a hiccup right around the graphic. So pull that thing fully off. You can kind of hold it on the edges. Be careful to not let it stick down before you want it to. Do I want to bend it or just hold it straight? Hold it straight. And okay. you want to hold it up so that you make sure, like we kind of measured it out before, that you're not going to have any parts not covered with grip tape. Now stick it on there, make sure it's straight. Just drop okay. it. Okay, okay. Good, is it dropped on there good enough? Yep. Okay, good. Now center. You're going to hit it, and then you're going to kind of go like this. You started from the center and then push out, and ideally there's no air bubbles. Yeah. So in pushing out, you hopefully got rid of all those. That's sort of the um, scariest part of it in terms of getting the grip tape on straight. See? Nailed it. Hey. Good. First try. Now the next thing that we're going to do, because this is really rough, and we need to cut this. So you cut this with some sort of tool, a razor blade or something. If you're a kid and you're putting together a board, do not touch a razor blade. Get your parents to help you with that. So you want to get something to scrape this. Some skate tools like this have a little file on top. I usually just use a giant wrench or something like that. But just take whatever you got, 
and just start scraping oh, that noise. the edges. That gives me the heebie-jeebies. The what? The noise. It gives you the what? The, the heebie-jeebies. My right. mom says that. So notice how right here it's like I scraped off so much of it that it's just sort of the sticky part. Yeah, yeah. Ideally you get it to that level and then it's really easy to cut with the razor blade. Just keep on trucking. Okay, did I do okay? You did okay. Just okay? <laughs> this is my most satisfying part of the whole board setup. You ready? Don't breathe that in. Breathe it out. Good. So you see, the more you scrape it, the easier it's going to be to cut. Okay. But I think it's fine. So grab one of those razor blades. Grab one for me as well. If one is better than the other, my nieces are not going to be happy. What I do is I just put it underneath and cut it all the way around. But this is a way to make it a little bit safer, is to cut some, some slits. So make some little cuts on the edges. That side's fine. Good. And then this way, it's going to sort of come off in, in chunks. Now you're gonna take it, it's best if you hold the board kind of like this. You can kind of go towards yourself on this, which is the way you're not supposed to cut, right? Just okay. go very slow and just nice and easy. Just make one straight line. I'm not gonna cut up my board with that or? No. So notice how your grip tape is stuck to the side. You go like that so it's not stuck to the side. Okay. And you'll see, you notice how it's really stuck there. Yeah. So if it's peeled up like that, now it's going to cut way easier. Okay. Hold it kind of like this so you have some leverage with your arm and then just pull that razor blade. You can kind of drag it along the line. This is the most difficult part of gripping a skateboard. Definitely the scariest. See, now watch yourself. You're getting that razor blade close. Okay. Get your parents to cut the grip tape for you, okay? <laughs> okay? So you see how that one part right there is like a little bit off? Yeah, so how do I just, fix that? So I think what's going to make this easier again is to uh, scrape it a little more. Mm. You can almost just fully scrape it off. But see, then it's just... So even if you pull a little bit of your board, it's fine? Yeah. Okay, so I basically I mean, getting... wasn't getting aggressively too into it. Yeah, because you're holding it like not just like this way, and yeah. that way you're going like away from the board, which you did. Yeah. But you're holding it like into the board a little bit. Okay. But see how that's like basically a pretty nice straight line there? Yeah, yeah, that looks a lot better. Good, now let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Okay. Let's just cut it all and then you can make any corrections. Okay, okay. So on the nose and tail, you're going to do the same thing. It's just going around the, right. around the curve. Just remember if it's stuck down, it's going to be hard to cut. Okay, perfect. Now this is a um, crazy pro tip. So you're going to take that piece, oh, take that piece and stick it together like so. Mm -hmm. So you have a nice little triangle. We'll be using that later in the cooking show. Now let's cut the other side. Not so scary, right? Not so bad. I can see why it would be valuable to have like, to like push really hard on that part. Yeah, like scraping it beforehand, right? Yeah. Now you see all those little pieces that you want to just sort of slightly cut. So take one of these. This is like the, the ultimate pro tip. Not everybody does this one. Just sand it down. So you can see how right here it's kind of, it's a little bit rough. So sand it down so it's nice and smooth. Oh, that's so much better. Like if you use this side too much, see how that's all is like yeah. almost torn? So just flip it over. Yep, white pants. <laughs> Not ideal. Okay, you so feel like that's pretty good? Yeah. You got your grip tape on. Great. Hardest part done. Flip that over, take some hardware and put it in four of the holes. And then okay. take your truck and you're gonna just hit that, hit them through. Wow. Boom. Nailed it. Now you have the, the holes on the other side that you needed. Otherwise you would have never found, where are they? Ah, I get it. So now so. put them on the top where they're supposed to go. Now take your truck and hit those down. Okay. Good, now put the truck on there and then okay. just finger tighten those on there. Okay, so then here's my question. How do I know which way this goes? So the bushing, the part that is the little squishy part always goes inside okay. on both trucks. If you mess that up, you're gonna have a very, very difficult time skateboarding. Okay. Basically, you'll you'll turn left and the board will go right. 
How tight does this have to be? Uh, as tight as you can get it. Okay. I mean, obviously the tighter the better. We're gonna tighten them okay. all the way down, but with your fingers, you're only gonna get it so tight. Okay, hold on, here's a question. So how do you know which side to put these on? It's a good question, actually. The bottom side is flat and the top is a little more rounded and it sort of looks like there's like a little piece of plastic in there. That little piece of plastic, I think it's called Loctite. It basically makes it so this does not rattle loose. As long as the screw part goes through that plastic part, it's not gonna come off unless you purposely take it off with a tool, which yeah. is nice. It's very important that your hardware is long enough and you do make it go through that plastic part. So you got them all on there, finger yeah. tight? Good, so now we're gonna just fully tighten those down. So okay. grab your skate tool. In this skate tool, you'll notice this little thing sticking out, boom. This one has a screwdriver and an Allen. They usually all do. So you're gonna okay. use that screwdriver on the screwdriver side. And then I just twist it. So screw it in. Okay. But if maybe if I put my put enough pressure on the other side, I don't know. Oh, I get it. It's uh -huh. probably easier to just hold it with this. And this has, you can just go like that. Oh. Righty tighty. Lefty loosey. Yeah. So you can just hold it like that and okay. then use this and tighten it down nice and tight. Okay. But probably a little bit How? easier to hold it like this. Oh. So Aaron gets the easier way out, huh? You could use a drill, yes. How tight do I do it here? So, so as tight as you can get it. You wanna tighten it sort of here, 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 here. Is that really gonna matter? Probably not, but if you wanna be really into things like I am, go here, 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 here. And remember, you want the screw to pop out through that plastic part. So that one's not gonna come off. These hardware are the absolute perfect size for a complete skateboard. You got them all? Yeah. So this side, how do I make that look weird, less weird? Good question. I'm glad you asked that. There's a little thing that I do, you oh, know, no, pretty Aaron. big deal. <laughs> oh, no. uh -oh. I'm pretty much the only person on the world that does this. I'll show you all of the different ways. So we're going to do okay. the same thing on the other side. Put okay. the screws in. Take your truck. Full wang Pound dangle. Okay. Do you see how this we just put them on over the grip tape? Yeah. Which is fine. I'll show you how to fix that as well. On this one, notice how like this one, for example, it popped out kind of like a nice little hole. Yeah. Generally what I will do is I will take, after I made the holes like that, take a razor blade and I'll, I'll scrape a circle around it. Oh, I kind of like that. It sort of countersinks it. Yeah. And it gets the grip tape out of there and then it won't be sticking up when you put the bolt in. Yeah, there's different ways to do it. I suppose you could take a <laughs> drill that's, and that's kind of, idea. sort of like an arts and crafts craft. <laughs> An arts, and, <laughs> an arts and crafts crafts? That's the name of my band. <laughs> We're a crafts band. <laughs> Karen Spyro. Karen Spyro's crafts crafts. <laughs> oh yeah. Really let her rip. <laughs> okay. Okay, perfect. Put that truck on there. Okay, so then this goes on the inside. That bushing, that thing that makes the truck turn, goes in the inside. The bushing is that soft part right there. Always goes in the inside. Okay. Okay, I'll let you rock the drill on this one. So just give it a little bit, and then it's best if you use your, your left hand to screw it in tight. Okay, I think that's good. Now and I'm it came here. out the other side, like the little thing. First try. Aaron, you got any jokes for us? The other day I was walking down the street and there was a walrus. <laughs> she will literally laugh at anything. She's like the, that person you want to take to the comedy club. <laughs> Now on this, you'll notice these two washers in there. Uh -huh. So you want those to go on either side of the bearings. By either side, I mean both sides. Okay, got it. Just take off just one and then slide on one of the bearings. Now on these particular bearings, you'll notice one side is sort of like a red rubbery shield and the other side is sort of a red plasticky shield. You want the rubbery shield out. Okay. You can tell because it's wider and it's gonna protect the bearing more. So put that down. Kay. By out, I mean not on the inside of the wheel, which is gonna go on like this. Oh. Rubbery side towards the outside of the wheel. Okay, rubbery side closest to the truck. There you go. Okay, got it. Now take a wheel and push it in there. Push it in? Yeah. Okay. You get it in there? Yeah. Now next bearing, same thing. Oh, that's what you guys are doing when you do that. Yeah. Okay, so then rubber is on the inside of the truck. Yeah. It's touching the truck. I find this way easier if you put it on the ground. Good, now one thing you'll notice is like, look at how far my bearing is in the wheel. Oh yeah. And how <laughs> yours is not. Yeah. So you need to push that one in a lot harder. Oh, I need both to push of them both on of them both them sides. 
see how hard this is? Remember yeah. that thing I was telling them to buy called the bearing yeah. press? All you do is go, boom, both bearings are in. Yeah, we've got to get that. I'm sold now. There, I think I got it. If it's in there enough to put this nut on, then you can just tighten it down and you can tighten it enough where it's going to just tighten the bearings down. Oh, both of them? Yeah. You obviously have to get them into the wheel enough to be able to tighten it at all. Yeah, I think I did that enough. You did, yeah. Okay, so then I put the little little thingamajig. There you go. On that. Yep, and then this. Now you're going to take this end and put it on there and tighten it down. You can even tighten it so you feel like it goes tight just to make sure the bearings are pushed in and then loosen it up a couple turns. Like it should be a little bit, little bit loose. It's not loose. Right, so now loosen it up. So loosen it up. If it's too tight, the wheel's not gonna roll. Oh, I see. But what about for little kids? Wouldn't you want them a little bit tighter? Nah. No, okay. I mean, it's gonna not roll. You want it to roll. Okay, so okay. that's how you put the wheels on. So okay, great. now we'll do the other side. Just observe the bearing and yeah. look at which side is more protective. Could you tell? The rubber? Yeah, so that is, you want that on the outside of the wheel. Right. Because the inside of the wheel, nothing's getting in there. Oh, I see what you're saying. Dirt, whatever, right? Put it on there. Okay. Use your body weight to push it down. I forgot to put like the little thing oh, on the jig. No. The wheels will never help? work. I think most people don't even use those. Oh, okay. What does that do? It just provides a little more protection, I guess, a little less friction. So how fast can you do this? About that fast. Like half hour? I don't know how long we've been going. I never timed it. Okay. I just put boards together and skate. And usually I don't change the trucks. Like once you have your trucks that you have, you've grooved them in and you have grind marks, you want to keep those trucks. Generally speaking, I will only change a board. Okay. Like the truck is gonna have to be really, really bad or broken somehow to make me want to change trucks. Okay, so you just unscrew these and put them in a new one. That's right. Okay, so then I, I messed this up and I put one on the other side. Is that gonna be a big problem? Yeah, why don't you just pop it out? So put the bearing in like that uh -huh. and then pull it to the side. Oh, oh, that's, that's a clever little trick. After I screw this in, I'm good. Then I made it complete. Right? I wanted to show you the final touches that we do on the top here, which is, you know, final version of the skateboard, other than okay. the stickers that we can cut on there. You've officially made Ooh, a complete skateboard. Now so let's check the top. Remember how we had these things that we were like, uh, not ideal. Yeah. Take something like uh, maybe this and kind of just smash it down a little bit. Good, now see how the bumps are gone? It's just kind of smushed yeah. in there. So now you can take whatever excess piece of grip tape that you have mm -hmm. and just file it down. And don't worry, it might look like it's kind of bad, but yeah. this first day of skating, that's gonna come all off. You're all good? I mean, I think that's all right, okay, right? So if, if there's nothing like sticking up that would be in the way, then you're good to go. Okay. Do the sides feel smooth, you're good to go? Yeah, they feel feel smooth. Boom. Nailed it. Boom. Two complete Yay, skateboards. That's easy, awesome. Easy, right? Not yeah, so hard. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. It's easier than I thought. So you guys can get a skateboard deck and then get all of the pieces and put it together yourself, or you can buy a fully assembled complete skateboard. Those are available at BrailleSkateboarding.com. Everything that you see here is available. Chloe does run the shop, um, and so she really wanted us to make this video for you guys so that you guys would always have a reference in putting together your equipment. All right, so any other questions you have before we end off on this? Nope, I think we're good. All right, let's skate. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely go to BrailleSkateboarding.com to get all of your skateboard gear. Subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. We will see you in the next video. All right, guys, we're super, super excited about the holiday special. Click the link in the description below and go find out what it is.